Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a um, candy holder. I guess it's a bubblegum machine kind of look. It's really cute. And, of course, I'm doing it fall themed. Um, I might even do it Halloween themed. I'm not sure. But, uh, also, I do know that I have the same nails as I did in another video. It's just that I'm filming them all, um, <coughs> excuse me, in, uh, like, two filmed two videos yesterday and then a video today I'm filming so it's kind of and my nails have just stayed nice all that time so that's why they're the same um, anyways so let's get started the supplies you'll need is a, a flower pot and like the little bottom thingy a round bowl you can get find these at Walmart some fake leaves Oh, well, you don't have to have that, just things to decorate with, like straw and twigs and, like, the straw. I got this in a big pack, um, last year from Michael's, so, uh, yeah, it was, like, on sale or something, so. And you also need, like, a little, um, wooden knob thingy. If you don't have one, you can make your own, which I did. You'll need a ping pong ball, some Play-Doh, and, um pair of scissors and you'll also need some craft paint, a paintbrush and a hot glue gun. So let's get started. Alright, so for the first thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint your flower pot orange. Well you can paint it whatever color you want, but this is what I did. I painted it orange and at the bottom black. So it will sit like this. Then you're gonna take the bottom piece and you're going to paint it all orange and I painted it um, with little dots, which I made by dipping a wooden dowel in some black paint. Then you're going to take a wooden knob and paint it black. If you don't have one, what you're going to do is you're going to take a ping pong ball, and I just took a broken one. It was just had a little crack at the bottom, so I uh, poked my scissors through there. I just held it like this and poked scissors through there. Make sure not to go on the other side, though. Then I filled it up with Play-Doh enough so it's not like, it's full enough that it's heavy and um, so yeah it's like heavy and because uh, the ping pong ball is pretty light so that the play is just to make it heavy and then you're going to paint you're going to put paint in a like um, what do you call those? plastic lid and you're going to just like roll it around in that paint and then just let it dry at the bottom make sure that's where the play-doh you can see that there's like the opening for the play-doh and uh, that's so I just rolled it around there then let it sit right there and let it dry and then just paint it over there if that made any sense uh, alright so let's go to the next alright so for the next step what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with your hot glue and glue it all along the edge and glue it onto there alright so this is what it looks like when it's glued I just glued along the edge as you can see and uh, you're going to want to make sure it's like, you're going to want to like pull on it very gently just to make sure that it's secure. Then you're going to take your little wood knob or ping pong ball and you're going to glue that to the top of the thingy. Just like that. Alright, so I glued this on and you're going to want to make sure it's really sturdy so then uh, when you pick it up it's won't fall and break so it's gonna be a little bit tilted but I think it looks cute like that now you're gonna decorate it with whatever you want you can get stickers you can paint um, you can do like fall or Halloween themed whatever you want to do alright so <coughs> excuse me this is what it looks like when I'm all finished um, now this thing does turn like that right so be very careful do not pick it up like that like, do not try to pick up the whole thing. It The lid just comes off, and then it's like this. So, yeah. Because, like, I picked it up like this, and it's like topsy-turny type thing, but that is, that's what it's supposed to be. So, as you can see, I decorated mine, like, fall. Um, but you can do, like I said, with stickers for, like, Halloween stuff. You can really do whatever you want. So... I, and also you don't have to fill this up with gum, even though it's a bubble gum machine, you can fill it up with any kind of Halloween candy that you want. So thank you guys so much for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks, bye.